Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike. This time we're taking a look at the Transformers Rise of the Beast Deluxe Wheeljack action figure from the Jungle Mission 3 pack by Hasbro. Now if you hadn't already, please follow, like, and subscribe to my social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification of when I post new content. All right, so today we're taking a look at the Transformers Rise of the Beast Deluxe Wheeljack from the Jungle Mission 3-Pack. Now, this, of course, is a Target-exclusive item. It retails for $54.99 here in the U.S., and that does save you a few dollars if you want to purchase all three of these action figures together in the box set. The Deluxe figures retail for $24.99 each here in the U.S., which comes out to about $75. So it's not a bad deal uh, to pick up all three of these figures, even if you buy it just to get one, as I did in the case of Wheeljack. So taking a look at the packaging, you've got some character art down at the bottom. You've got your Transformers banner on the right. The Transformers Rise of the Beast banner on the upper left. Back of the packaging. You have your obligatory product shots of all three action figures. All right, last but certainly not least, we have the Transformers Rise of the Beast Deluxe Wheeljack outside of the packaging. This was the reason why I purchased this box set. Now, my initial impression of the figure is it's really nice. I do like the attention to detail, the articulation, the paint apps, and the transformation on the figure. Two things that I don't like, first and foremost, are the head sculpt. I do have a spare head sculpt from a Kingdom Deluxe Wheeljack that I plan to swap out for this one if it will accommodate the transformation process. The other thing that I dislike about this figure, and perhaps it's just a minor quality control issue with my particular figure, are the ball joints on the hip. They are extremely loose, which contribute to the figure being a little unstable. So let's take a closer look at Wheeljack so you guys can see that head sculpt. A lot of nice detailing there in the head sculpt and the mouth. See the Autobot symbol on his forehead as well as his chest. That's really cool. Nice paint apps on the alt mode there. Silver paint apps for the chrome. Blue paint apps on the lights. Silver paint apps for the grill. And you've got some really dark metallic gray for the robot parts there for his arm and his abdomen area as well as around the ball joints and you can see if i hold it how loose that is one possible remedy to this is to pop this off and use a uh, brush applicator for super glue and coat the inside of that area and allow it to dry and then reapply it and it should tighten it up so we'll see if that works. I like the backpack, how minimalist it is, as well as the door wings, how they come off. That's really cool. Arms are really cool. You know, it's not too large and, and gawky. It's really nice looking. All the way around, it's a really cool figure. As far as articulation, his head is on a nice ball joint, really tight, but it allows uh, full range of motion. Forward and lateral movement at the shoulder, bicep rotation. Single jointed elbow. You got elbow rotation there. You also have waist swivel. Forward and lateral movement at the thigh. No thigh rotation. And if you pull it too hard to try to rotate it, the leg joint's going to pop off. And this is the area that I'm talking about applying super glue to to try to tighten that, that ball joint up. Bend at the knee and no lower leg rotation. His foot is on a ball joint, so that allows you to pivot and roll the foot. Now, for those curious about the height of Wheeljack, he stands approximately five and a quarter inches in height. So, for comparison, I'm going to bring out the Transformers Rise of the Beast mainline Optimus Prime. You can see they look really cool together. All right, so let's talk about transformation. Let's remove Will Jack's blaster from his hand. Set it to the side. 
the first thing we're going to do is flip down this section and we're going to push down these panels here. We're going to come back here to the backpack and slide it all the way up. You can see how that works. Slide it all the way up. And then we want to flip this chest panel up. And that's got some issues clearing his head. That's really tight. Let's snap that section together. Let's flip this all the way down. Come down here to his arms and you want to rotate the shoulders. So that the wheel well is like that and just kind of allow his arms to come down. Drop down like that. And I want to come in here and want to rotate these in like this. supposed to look like that you just want to bring the arms down out of the way for now and rotate the door down and the door will tab into that white plastic section right there come around to the other side and get that to go in there and let his arm just drop down out of the way There we go. And we'll take the door. I want to come down. So tab in like that. I'm gonna come back here to the back to his legs, fold these panels out. And you wanna rotate it so that all this lines up. Pull this out of the way and take his foot and then slide it up so that the seam lines up like that. Come around here to this side, do the exact same thing. And that panel should do that. And just kind of pull that out of the way for now. Take these two halves. They're going to tab in on the inside. The front. As well as back here in the back. Let me go ahead and put these two together. Get them out of the way. There we go. Now, just make sure all of this is down. You can go ahead and slide this panel down. Everything's lined up. And then I'm going to bring this down and in like that. Bring the back of the van down. It's going to tab in back here and his arms are going to come up and they are going to tab in right there I can get that panel to stay down
front wheel has come untapped from the door. Yeah. There we go. Run to this side and do the exact same thing. And this section is going to go into those two little slots like that. And there's Wheel Jack, all transformed. He's really cool. I do like this mode. I do plan to repaint this and scratch off the TV Pablo, weather it. And you can take his blaster and actually plug it in up top if you wanted to do that. There you go. Overall, I think it's a really cool figure, other than the fact that the hip joints are really loose. I do like the transformation process. I think that's fun to, to play with. And ultimately, the set is worth the cost of $54.99. It does save you some money from buying these figures individually, and it's just a, a fun set to collect as a store exclusive. So there you have the Transformers Rise of the Beast Deluxe Wheeljack from the Target exclusive Jungle Mission 3-Pack by Hasbro.